Once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Today, we're going to talk about JavaScript display possibilities. Ways to output results in JavaScript. So this is a typical example of that. I have my print button. When you click on that, it's basically going to print whatever you have on your screen for you so when you click on print me it's going to basically print whatever you have on your screen at the moment and you can use this to print content on your screen so that is a typical example of how you can output in javascript so i'll be doing a lot of video tutorials series of video tutorials on javascript python php and we'll also dive into react and then react native and we'll be doing some mobile app development so this is going to be a lot of videos to come a series of videos so consider subscribing if this is something you may like to be part of like and then subscribe and turn on post notification so you, so you get alert anytime i upload those content so in this tutorial this is the first of the series for javascript we'll be talking about javascript display possibilities there are several ways to output results in javascript and we'll be doing some of them in this tutorial so this is my favorite text editor that you can also download and then you can use that VS code editor. That is what I use for all my programming. And we're going to see how best we can achieve something in this tutorial. In JavaScript, there are several things, properties we can use. We can write into HTML element using the inner HTML. We can also use the HTML output by using the document dot write. We can use the alert box and then we can use the console.log. So there are several of them and we're going to look at them one after the other. So the first one I'm going to talk about is, let me just clear the console from here. Or I'm just going to just comment this out. Okay. So if you don't want to display a line of code, you can easily comment that line of code out just by putting the two forward slash just before the code and that code will not be recognized by the browser so let me just clear this part i will just clear this part for now so we're going to be talking about writing into html using what the inner html so i'm going to have two title if you want to do this you can just type h1 so i just want to have h1 title and then i want to call it javascript display so we want to get javascript display possibilities let me save this and i'm going to be observing whatever we do in our browser so if i go back to this browser and i reload this now we should be having only javascript display possibilities and that is the h1 title for now and then we want to output a paragraph okay and we're going to be using the inner HTML to do that. So basically, the inner HTML allows you to assess elements within a JavaScript. So let's just put a paragraph here. And then that paragraph, let's call it maybe my first paragraph. My first paragraph. Okay. So let's say we want to call this, output this into what HTML. We can use this to do that so in order to do that let's come down here and i'm going to use an id so you need to use id to do this so id attribute defines the html element. so the id attribute will define the html so this is the html element and then the id will define that so we come down here and then we can see this paragraph that this time around will give it an id and then we can give this id a name so let's just call it my what id for now and then we want to output this in our javascript so let me just to let me just clear this for now so in order to include javascript within our html we use the script tag okay so it's open and then closing tag and then you want to use this within your html you need to use the document dot get element by id okay so that is why we assign id to this so we can just go ahead and see document dot then we use the get element by id so we just have to type that 
get element what by id and then we have to now get that id remember we assign this id to our paragraph so we're going to call it my id and then aside that we're going to use the inner html and i said inner html you use to access html elements using what javascript so you're going to see dot inner html and then we can say we can use this to do some simple calculation so we can say six plus what seven and remember this is what javascript we need to end every statement for the semicolon and then this is basically what we want to do we can output this and then see what is going to happen so let me just save this and let's reload our browser so we should be expecting something around for 13. so you can see we have 13 here displayed in our browser and then we also have my first what paragraph we got this from using this id we're able to get the content of this paragraph using this id and we will be able to display this as well okay so javascript can help you achieve this with ease so we've been able to add this using the inner html what about using the direct outputs we can also use the direct output so i can just go ahead and then clear this for now and adding two numbers instead of going through this complex process i can just say document dot write and this you can just go ahead and then put that content in this bracket so you want to add two numbers you can just go ahead and then add them this way remember anytime you do this end with with a semicolon so we've been able to add javascript within our html tag let's add this so we should be expecting what 16. so i'll save this and go back to my browser and then load this so you see we are getting what 16. we are getting 16 over here so we can just print this out straightforward using the document dot right and this can print it out for us we can also use alert to achieve this okay and alert is in different ways we can use the windows dot alert okay you can use the windows dot alert but remember you can use the windows dot alert so if i come here and then i just type alert I can also output this remember this is alert so this will just give me an alert or prompt me and say what system so let's save this and reload this let's go back to my browser and then reload this you can see we are getting alert for so this page then we are getting system so this will give us an alert when i click ok before it to take me to the site itself okay so you can use alert but remember you can also see window dot alert let's try this let's save this and then try again and see if this is also going to work you can see we are basically getting the same results so why am i ignoring the windows from the alerts windows object is a global as global scope objects within javascript so it includes object variables method that belong to the windows object so with this you don't need to include the window so this is optional we can just clear that from there and use just the alert we're still basically going to get our results and then there is another one that we can also use to also get the same thing which is going to be console.log and mostly this is used for debugging purposes okay console.log and we can do this by just saying five same with plus six and then make sure you end this so basically this result will not be displayed within the browser this will not be displayed remember to like subscribe and turn on post notification this result will not be displayed within the browser we are expecting what we are expecting to get 11 but when you open this browser you should have been getting this result so this is used purposely for debugging so in order to see this result you have to press the f12 for your keyboard so in order to see the results for the console.log that is the console.log when you open your browser press f12 and you should be getting the result within what your browser okay the console.log you will not get the result within your browser but you're going to get this from the 
console by pressing F12. So this is purposely for debugging and it's amazing to know how to use that. Okay, so we we'll move to our next point where we'll be talking about some events in JavaScript. Okay, so we have several events. We have the button click event. So we're going to use a typical example to print something that we have on our screen. So we're going to add a button. Okay, so let's add a button and then we'll give this button a name. So let's say print me. Okay, so that's going to be the name of our button prints me and we're going to add some events in javascript so we're going to use what we call on click event so on click event we're going to use this and on click event we're going to use window dot print so that's what we're going to use so this is basically a function that will allow us to print whatever we have on our screen so let's see when I reload this and see what it's going to show within our browser. So we'll go there and then reload this in our browser and see. So we have the button. So we just have to go ahead and click on this button. And it should print whatever we have on our screen. You click on print mail, going to print whatever you have on your screen at the moment. So JavaScript is so powerful. If this is something you want to learn and we can move ahead and learn React for creating user interfaces and React Native for mobile application, then consider subscribing because there's a lot coming up right here on this channel. So this is just the first series of this particular video tutorial I'll be doing. So like, come away again, remember to like and subscribe.